Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, we're going to talk about Disney, but not necessarily in a negative light. Yeah, we're going to we're going to back Disney today somewhat. We're going to somewhat back Disney today. Somewhat back Disney. So we're going to talk about the uh, drama, the drama over Disney Plus and censorship. And how apparently some college students think that uh, Disney Plus is just problematic for having any any of those old films on the service at all. Well, it was funny when you sent me the article before I even looked at it, just from the headline. I said, is it a white girl and is she in college? Yes. And then I, and I thought to myself, and she probably has Instagram selfie type pictures of herself. And that's exactly what happened. Yes, she I, does. Oh my God, I didn't even see that one. <laughs> yes, she does. So Called we're, we're going to talk about some of these people. Uh, and, uh, you know, why maybe Disney makes really haphazard, God, look at the ads. I can't block them or they won't let me see anything. Uh, why Disney makes, uh, very haphazard decisions when it comes to, you know, what they censor, what they don't censor. It usually depends on who is in charge of the marketing arm mm -hmm. of that particular division and what, uh, what flavor of the month yeah. uh, it is. That's, that's kind of how it works. And this we've seen firsthand. So before we get into the video, Please subscribe to Clownfish TV if you haven't done so already. We're less than a thousand away from 75k. Yeah, you know, I, that was that hit fast. I did hit fast, and we're hoping for 100k soon. So thank you so much to uh, all of you who have supported us, and even those of you who don't support us, who give us the hate views. Your money spends just as well. That's right. Thank you. Uh, thank you for that. <laughs> anyway, um, and before we get into this, I want to give a hat tip to Richard, who sent me this link on uh twitter thank you richard thank you richard because this is just beyond ridiculous so we do know that disney brought a lot of vaulted mm -hmm. classics to disney plus they did not censor them as much as i expected them to which i thought was you know in their favor and to their credit they didn't censor them as much as we thought they would yeah we had heard rumors we thought for sure that uh, dumbo would at least be censored they would cut the uh, the jim crow uh sequence out of dumbo instead they had a content warning mm -hmm. uh people were we're complaining about the content warning saying that it was like it was like a trigger warning but i'm like this is actually very standard on dvds and it has been for quite some time you mentioned in another video that warner brothers has done this before warner has done it for a long time i mean you have to understand these movies are a product of their time they're not made today and i can and i'm going to talk about that later we could argue about some of the stuff that's going to not age well today either but they're a product of their time so things have changed but that doesn't mean that there's nothing valuable. I mean, at that point, why don't we just burn every book that, you know, existed 50 years before this? Because, you know, it's, it's a product of their time and it might not hold up to today's standards, which are questionable anyway. Uh, don't give them ideas because we have, you know, also from the Daily Mail littered with ads. Well, yeah, we, don't teach about, you know, what was it, World War II? World War II because it makes people sad. Let's not teach World War II in school because it makes people sad. How about you grow up and realize that, you know, things happen and you need to learn from the past so it doesn't repeat itself instead of pretending like it didn't happen because it might make you sad. Yeah might make people sad so this is another instagram or this is the same kind of mentality that spawned this uh college girl lauren robertson rewatched 11 disney favorites such as the little mermaid she said many of the classic animations had not aged well and were dodgy she claimed that she was shocked when she watched some of her childhood favorites again so a student which you call immediately yeah. Uh, a student has slammed classic Disney films for being horrendously outdated and defensive. She studies languages. So a student who's going to be unemployed um, doesn't like some of the movies. <laughs> Claiming the Jungle Book character King Louie is racist and that many of the animations have not aged well. Well, that's not untrue. There are some racist and exaggerated stereotypes to this. But again, it was a product of its time. And Disney did the right thing and made sure they marked it that way. Even though I think it's absolutely ridiculous you have to have trigger warnings on everything. Um, yeah. They tried their best to market as you know a content warning and i'm going to give you the same advice you guys give me all the time when i don't like things like shira <clears throat> it's not for you it's for the children just don't watch it then <laughs> they need to put a warning up and just be like warning this movie is older than uh 2015 it probably will offend you well let's talk about the movies they have now and the tv shows they have now they're talking about stereotypes um hell shira we have a girl with ice power, so of course she's got to be an Eskimo. You know, we have you know a girl that floats, so she's got to be fat. I mean, I mean, it's like some of these things that they pick. I I think are every bit as offensive, and a lot of times, um, people are pointing out that they just stereotype the hell out of these things for these movies, um, to be like, look, we're covering all the bases, we're getting those check marks, but they're just giant stereotypes. Good. Yeah, we'll we'll talk about that later too, with how ridiculous all of this, uh, all of this has 
has become. And there, yeah, a lot of, I do agree that a lot of um, current year entertainment, some of the ridiculous choices that have been made will not age well. No, they're not um, going to. Are they going to put warnings in front of all this in like five years? I guess five, five years. years. You know, warning. There's a lot of stereotyping in here and uh, politics that are shoved in for no good reason. You know, trigger warning, you know. Warning, we made this movie for Lauren Robertson specifically and she didn't go watch it anyway, but now you're stuck with it. Um, <laughs> yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> so she said, addressing the Jungle Book, she talks about, remember uh, King Louis, the orangutan? Now, okay, now I, this I just, I thought was hilarious. The student claimed that King Louis is racist. You probably didn't realize it when you watched it at age five with all your animal teddies lined up in front of the TV, but there's a hell of a lot of criticism about him being a racist caricature. Here we go. This is where it just gets ridiculous. He and the other monkeys are shown to be foolish and criminal, and they literally sing about wanting to be able to make the white man's fire. Except there are no white men in the jungle book. It's animals and people from India. That's right. So they wanted Mowgli to make fire. Mowgli is brown i just am putting that out right. there did you actually watch the movie it had nothing to do with no, white man's but, fire but t <sighs> she also warned viewers not to be fooled by fond memories of two cute pups eating spaghetti uh in laying the tramp something to which she claimed is actually problematic in itself i didn't say why but she did not go into detail oh. um the gluten it was the gluten the dogs have a gluten allergy some people do have to gluten allergies. I know, but I'm just saying it's problematic because we're teaching people to eat unhealthily. I don't understand the why dog. there's a problem with that. Other than, you know, other than the fact that it's unrealistic and the fact that... Do anybody believe here for one minute that the dogs are going to let a meatball sit in the plate and not eat it? And they were going to share? It's because the dogs are eating meat. Uh, oh, the dogs need to be vegan and they need to be... They have gluten sensitivities. Right. So we can't Disney have has them. a new menu for that. So they do. You're they covered. Do, they do have a new uh, um, menu for that. The Siamese song... Yeah, the Siamese Cats. And they did take it out of the remake. Um, I, I, that one I can maybe understand somewhat. But still, it's just like... But the, the white man's fire is a load of crap because that's not what they were... They were thinking about fire. <sighs> God, it was in the book. It was in the book. Uh, she added that rewatching some of the most famous scenes was painful for her. Then don't watch! It. and completely cringeworthy just like her hot takes yeah your hot honest. takes are painful for a lot of people and completely cringeworthy yet here we are not only do the cats both look and sound identical their characters are sneaky and quite frankly annoying you know they're supposed to be sneaky and quite frankly annoying they happen to be Siamese cats but they're jerks that was the point this is a very racist thing to say but some cats I can't tell them apart mm -mm. they all look the same to me really <laughs> well you know what we have lots of cats and sometimes they're sneaky and annoying. We have cats. And sometimes they get their names mixed up because they all look the same. Sometimes I call my, I, I call the dog uh, Squid King's name, and I don't mean to. And he gets so upset. And I don't he mean does. to. I'm like, he I'm so sorry. So I do keep that. saying that. I'm like, yeah. Just be like, I'm old. Leave me alone. <laughs> Miss Robertson also delved into Dumbo, which has recently be, been remade by Disney. Uh, she claimed it's racist. Now, this is the one scene I did expect them to cut. I, yeah, and they it, did it, not. It was. I they mean, did it, not. It, it is. Yeah, they actually. It is what won. it is. A product of a time. It is what it again. is. It was. It was. Uh, you how about, know, how about, uh, is she going on about uh, Peter Pan? Uh, yeah. Oh, I, she does. I believe so. Uh, so this is a, you know if you're not familiar with the scene in Dumbo one, you've been living in a cave. Uh, two, the lead crow is named Jim Crow. Google right. it. Uh, Google it. Yeah, I thought for sure that one would be censored, that one, but they would, surprised yeah. me. They actually just put a content warning up. You will never see Song of the South. Oh my God, could you imagine these sitting her down? Or she would literally, she would, she would uh, uh, bleed glitter milkshake from her ears mm -hmm. watching Song of the South. Um, in amongst its classic bops, Disney has many songs with problematic lyrics. In Dumbo's Song of the Rouseabouts, faceless, dark-skinned characters sing, when other folks have gone to bed, we slave until we're almost dead. Yes, because I can't When even. you're aroused about, regardless of your skin color, you're working really hard around the clock because they got to move that tent. That Again, I don't a product of its time also. Some of Miss Robertson's harshest criticism was reserved for the original version of Aladdin, which she explains everything. Everything is problematic. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of jokes in Aladdin back when people could laugh. Uh, she said it was another film that Disney remade in order to cover up the blatantly problematic That's original. That's not why they're making these. They're making these because they want to make a lot more money. Aladdin did not get a content warning. 
I just want to put that out. Aladdin, yeah. uh, from what I understand, Aladdin did not get a content warning. Right smack bang in the middle of the opening song, Agrabah is described to be barbaric, but hey, it's home. They've actually, uh, they actually changed the lyrics right after it was released in the theaters in 1992, 93, mm -hmm. because of some of the lyrics offended people, they changed it, and I think they buried that version. But there is no content warning for Aladdin. I can't. It's problematic. Let's see what else is problematic. Aladdin is a white fantasy. Even pictures of herself from like Instagram, whatever, this slams is over everything. The irony of it, because this is this is these they are so up their own ass uh, that they don't actually. Sounds painful. They need to to uh, open their eyes and, and take a look at a whole new oh, world. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I can't. I can't. Okay. Okay. Are we are we gonna go here? Oh, uh, okay. Aladdin is a white fantasy with mispronounced. Arabic words and has nonsense scribbles as writing. They also have American accents. She looked back to when she was a child and she said, <gasps> "Through ja though Jasmine had been badass, but now that she had, uh, she is our character. Oh, she thought she thought Jet. She threw through though. She <laughs> though <laughs> Jasmine had been badass. I'm like, wait, did I misread that? No, no she you know thought what? Jasmine had. That been happens. Badass. Like letters get missing in the article. Right. Sometimes. They're Maybe. just they're they're just so incensed by her stupidity. Uh, but now that she saw her as a character who cries into her tiger's fur. Other films that came under fire in the Astonishing I love this one. Grant. <laughs> this is what I'm laughing about. Beauty and Beast because of bestiality. Bestiality. Cinderella is super anti-feminist and the Little Mermaid is... What? Ginger. Yeah, yeah. the, the Little Mermaid is problematic because problematic she's ginger. They have, to, they have to remake the Little Mermaid to get rid of that. Well, no, because she it. wants to marry somebody so bad that she you gives up who she is to uh to marry that's probably what her argument is miss robertson said some of the old classic movies are not the most politically correct or culturally because they were made in a different time with different sensibilities imagine that imagine that uh the world existed before you, before you before you uh, uh, wow what 18 a years ago uh 18 years ago you came into the world and you're going to show everybody uh, what is and what is not correct. Many of the films have not aged well with characters portraying racist and exaggerated stereotypes. Yes. Because they were products of their time. And that's why they have a warning on these movies. Ms. People were Robertson. butthurt about everything back then. It's a good shout from Disney to acknowledge that many of the films would not be so well received if they were released today. No shit. Uh, that's why they put the warnings on them. That is if they were allowed to be released at all. They're that dodgy. They're not that dodgy. She was shocked when she watched them back. Oh my God. And realized how horrendously offensive and outdated many of them are. She would be shocked when she realizes how horrendously offensive and outdated she comes across other people. Honestly, I'm glad I got over my dreams of being a Disney princess because that dodgy world is not one I want to live in. Well, good. There's other people who want to do it, so, you know, that's your yeah. choice. Mail Online has contacted Disney, which had previously added to its new platform. Uh, some of his old films may feature outdated cultural depictions. Okay, here's the thing. Disney did the right thing. They, they, they released the things from the vault that people want. And you know what? All her bitching and moaning, when they put these movies out on DVD, they get sold like crazy. And they released a warning on it, which I personally thought was, you know, a little bit, okay, whatever. But, you know, they did what they because should do. Because of people like her. They put the warning on these movies because of people like her who can't fathom that uh, mindsets and, and what was acceptable culturally 60, 70, 80 years ago. And their opinion's the only one that matters. Right. I mean... Current years, all that matters. I'm going to defend Disney on this one. Disney, I thought they would do more censoring than they did, yeah. which I didn't think they should do. And I think they handled it really well. I think how they handled it, they offered warnings. No problem. Again, like I get told all the time when I don't like things like She-Ra. It's not for you. Just don't watch it then if you don't like it. There you go, sweet cheeks. Just don't watch it if you don't like it. Spend more time focusing on your college classes on language and maybe not worry so much about what Disney puts up on their streaming service from years ago. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Um, so, but it's this kind of mentality, and and I want to talk a little bit about this, um, and we'll just see how ridiculous this go this gets. But th this is the mentality that got the wench auction pulled from Pirates of the Caribbean. To the best of my knowledge, nobody actually complained about this. Uh, I mean, it was kind of weird, you know, I, I guess. But like, the ride had been there for decades. I don't think people were really complaining about it. But a couple of people, uh, like this blogger for Ms. Magazine. Uh, the blog, not even the print magazine, complained about it in 2010. Disney had an internal uh, group of, of, of women. Mm -hmm. uh, from from a, some advocacy group. Right. That told people or told Disney that they better change this or they will get backlash from people uh, like Ms. Robertson. And Disney listened and they changed the uh, pirate scene to, uh, you know, 
great uh, great uh, pushback from Disney fans who were like, why are you changing this? Nobody took it seriously. I mean, let's be honest here. The redhead would be the pirate anyway. We all know nah, that. Well, yeah, I mean, no, they wouldn't have allowed her on the ship I'm, because redheads were considered bad luck. They still are. That's why Disney looks for every opportunity to push them out of their movies. That's right. So, um, <laughs> yeah, especially this redhead. Um, but, you know, I don't... M- I don't mind her being turned into the pirate so much, but I think the dialogue that goes with it is disrespectful to the original. When they're like, they're not, it's not rum, they're not sponging for rum, it's gold rafters, yeah. and who wants the rum? You know, it's like, really? Yeah, the dialogue is, is terrible. And I mean, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it's still no. not good. But here's the thing. I'm tired of um, these, these people wanting to rewrite history because historically speaking this is what would have probably happened i mean not exactly but i mean this is more likely to have happened than the redhead was a pirate and the guy and they were all listening to her i mean a woman pirate yeah but the redhead pirate really makes it kind of if they wouldn't even let redheads in the mines because they thought they, they were bad luck again history is icky history is icky ask instagram ask college students History is uncomfortable and icky, and we should forget about it. That's right, but we shouldn't because then you just you're just destined to fall into more traps. And I'm sorry, I'm seeing history repeat itself with certain far extremist groups. I mean, next thing is gonna be book burning because they don't like that these books existed, you know, 50, 60, 200 years ago, whatever. Because they, oh my God, like there's slavery. Yeah. Because it happened. <laughs> yeah, I know, and it's right? a disservice to people who have relatives or family members who were slaves because you can't just ignore it and say it didn't happen. You know, oh, World War II is icky and it's awful. Yeah, and it's a disservice to the people that were, you know, that were part of the Holocaust and the ones that survived to act like it never happened. It's a disservice. Do not do it. I just... Yeah. Oh, then show them the new one. The new one's really so. Fun. This is where this is where this goes. Eventually, eventually, you just throw logic out the window completely, uh, and and you wind up here, which is anyone should be allowed uh, to identify as black regardless of the color of their skin or background. Says university leaders. And you could have summed it all up with the university leaders because that's what caused a lot of this. These people are completely out of touch with reality. So, this is what gets me. So let me. You're offended by black stereotypes. You're offended by people with uh, cultural appropriation. You're offended it's by... It's always white girls, too. It's always white girls. And I want to talk about that, too. It's always white girls and, and their, their black male sidekicks in movies now. That's mm-hmm. always... You know, we'll talk about that. But now university leaders are saying that you can um, identify as, as another race. And they're saying that this is not offensive. But it's offensive that, you know, they still have you know, certain aspects of Aladdin in there. But that, but that is horribly offensive, and this is not. It's offensive for Aladdin to speak with an American accent, but for uh, somebody like this to just wake up one day and decide that she's a black girl, that's totally okay. That's okay, apparently. That's okay. I don't know. I don't get it. I'm confused. This, uh... <laughs> I can't even... I'm just shaking my head, because I'm like, what? I, oh God. Um, so... Anyway, uh, yeah, but there is a tendency, like they're making movies for people like this, right? And we see this, you talk about the tropes that are not going to age well. It's almost always the uh, textbook strong female character trademark Trademark. with with a black male uh, sidekick. Mm -hmm. Anymore, yeah. Star Wars, raise the lead. Finn has been relegated to sidekick status. Captain Marvel is the lead. Again, white girl. Uh, Nick Fury, who was a badass, relegated to comic relief sidekick status. Right. Shira, Adora, is the lead. Bo is a comic relief male uh, right. sidekick, black guy. Um, Bumblebee, strong female protagonist, goofy ass black uh, boyfriend, whatever. No, no, they made sure that they're not boyfriend girlfriend because we can't have that either. That's that's wrong. Uh, the list goes on and on. I think there are several right. other examples. So when where- they say they want diversity, they mean women. They want to put women as these characters. Usually white. Yeah, almost always white. Usually white women. I mean, you know, the Little Mermaid's the the change from that, but that's okay. Um, we can make Ariel black, but uh, Eric is still white. Now there are going to be some questions asked about that too, because again, it's like when you start to create uh, movies with the intention of not offending anyone, even 
your best intentions are going to offend someone because no people what are you do, you're so gonna, easily offended. You're going to offend somebody by what you do. So you're better you're better to focus on a good story and good characters. Doesn't matter what race, gender, whatever they are, just make good characters and a good story and there you go. That's too easy. Right. And, and, but unfortunately, when you put it through, like, what was that Gina Davis's thing where you can run it through to make sure that there's oh. parody? They're going to get parody, even if it's not <laughs> fair, because they, they got the, the, you know, black sidekick. They're going to get parody, but a different spelling. Uh, it's mm. going to be P-A-R-O-D-Y. Uh, that's what they're going to get with uh, Gina Davis's um, gender equality robot algorithm that Disney is going to use to help write their movies. Yes. What? I know. It's just, you know what? Just make good movies, make good shows, make good characters. And that that happened to be, you know, whatever race or sexual orientation or, you know, Stop whatever. Stop making gender. sense. Stop it. You're making sense. Well, it's this. offensive. Look it's at this triggering me. Your offense. Like this here. They said down here. Okay. This, this, I love this. Their position statement, um, they stand for it's support for self-identification of gender, but it also insists people can choose their own race, saying our roles commit us to ending all forms of discrimination, bigotry, and stereotyping. Here's an idea. Why don't you just look at people as people and not as a check mark? And then you're not going to, because you're making your own uh, bigotry, stereotyping, discrimination just by identify, looking at them and identifying them based on what they are. How about you just look at them and be like, oh, you're a cool person. You know, does it matter? Why are you check marking all these things? It doesn't matter in the first place. And I also want to say that I now identify as skinny, <laughs> even though I'm not, because um, apparently I'm allowed to and you can't mock me for this. So I now choose to identify as skinny, even though I am far from it. Okay. But I still, I still want to say redhead with blue eyes because I, apparently that's a rare thing. So I'll I take do. that. I, I like that. Uh, I like that. Okay. So uh, yeah, there you go. Everybody's offended. Um, this is This is nothing new and there's going to be pushback against this ridiculousness because it, it has to these people could not survive in the wild like i mean seriously what's going to happen is we're going to have nations full of weak stupid people and other countries that don't subscribe to this bullshit are going to come in and just like take us over yeah i mean this is like darwinism it's it's just, but you know just because you don't like it doesn't mean that it didn't happen you can't erase everything because you don't like it these things are from a different time they can be updated or whatever, but they're from a different time period. And you, you know, Disney did right by what they did. I'm going to defend Disney on this one because Disney, you know, did take out some things, which I don't know if they should have, you know, edited some stuff out, but they did, but they also put warnings on front. They can't make it. They can't do anything else for you. If you're stupid enough to watch it and get offended, that's up to you. They told you not to watch it if you're easily offended and understand this is from a different time period. If you're gonna watch it anyway and go and bitch about it online, that's your own fault. As I get told all the time about watching she which is why I haven't watched a new season. I watched five minutes and it was so, I was just, I can't, mm -mm, out. Yeah, I have zero interest in that so, show. Um, but I'm just saying, you can't forget the past and you can't pretend it didn't happen. And you have to understand that not everything is for you. And Disney didn't do anything wrong in this regard. And Disney, maybe you should stop listening to these people that you keep hiring because these people like this are what the kind of people you're hiring to run your marketing. That's exactly it. No, I'll just kind of wrap up with that. Um, you want to know why Disney is very uh, uneven when it comes to their marketing and what offends and what doesn't offend. Like Alex Hirsch the other day talked about Gravity Falls and Grunkle Stan's hat was offensive. It basically depends on which marketing intern is running the show at that point literally i know uh who's running the show in the parks she's like 25 years old and everything's all about instagram 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 that's this month's flavor next month it might be something else but i agree with geeky companies like disney have to learn you don't cater to these people because they're not gonna buy your shit anyway they're not no. going to and then she had seven day free trial so who knows if she was a subscriber before or after <laughs> Who knows? I mean, that's a good question. Did she subscribe? Was she a subscriber to Disney Plus or did she just use a free trial? Use a free trial, get on to Disney Plus, get offended by everything, even though there's a trigger warning, and then go bitch about it on the internet. Right. And so I'm gonna give I'm stupid. defending Disney on this one. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna have we're gonna get Disney's back on this one. So So yeah, we're gonna wrap this one up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants here on Clownfish TV. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.